everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got a video that is all about one of my favorite breakfast foods and that is chia pudding. Today we are going to be making chia pudding six different ways. So essentially I'm just gonna show you how to make traditional chia pudding and then we're gonna make it in six different flavor combinations. I'm also excited to be bringing you today's video in partnership with my friends at iHerb. If you are unfamiliar with what iHerb is, they are an online retailer that sells over 30,000 natural products, everything from pantry staples to supplements, beauty products, and more. And they also ship to 150 different countries, which is absolutely amazing. So if you aren't in the US, you can still shop on iHerb and get natural products delivered right to your door. So we are using a bunch of their different products in today's video. Two types of chia seeds actually that you can find both on iHerb, black and white, and I'll share how we're incorporating those. And I've also included all of the links for all of the products that I mentioned in today's video down in the description box below. I've also included a full blog post tutorial that outlines every single recipe in today's video. So if you wanna learn more, make them, anything like that, you can find that down below as well. I think without further ado, we should just go ahead and dive right into our recipe. So if you've never made chia pudding before, essentially it just is chia seeds and some sort of liquid, stirring them together and then it turns into a gel and then you can add any flavors that you want. So that is what we're gonna be doing here. We're doing three tablespoons of chia per serving and three quarter cups of liquid per serving and then swapping things in and out for different flavor profiles. So let's go ahead and dive into our recipes. The first one is gonna be banana bread. We're gonna start with half of a banana that we are going to mash in our bowl. To that, you'll add your chia seeds and some cinnamon. And for this, you can get the black chia seeds and the cinnamon on iHerb. And then top that with almond milk or whatever unsweetened milk you'd like. Give it a stir until everything is combined and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes until it thickens up. Once it's thickened up, you can give it a stir. And if it's too thick, you can add a splash more of liquid if you need it. And then we will assemble our chia pudding. So we're going to start by adding some chia pudding in the bottom. Then I like to do a layer of banana. Then I do the rest of the pudding, do another layer of banana, top it with some crushed up walnuts. And these walnuts are actually raw walnuts that I get on iHerb. They're a great price and they are the perfect addition to this one. And that's the banana bread. And what's great about this one is it doesn't use any extra sweetener. Our second flavor is going to be lemon raspberry. We are actually gonna be using white chia seeds in this recipe just because I think it looks really pretty. So we'll add our white chia seeds into the bowl followed by some maple syrup and some lemon zest and of course your milk. And for our ingredients in this one, you can get the white chia seeds and the maple syrup on iHerb. And then you'll stir that together until it's combined, set it aside, let it gel for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once it's thickened up, it should look a little bit like this. Again, if it's too thick, add a splash more liquid if you'd like. And then to start this, we are going to actually mash up some fresh raspberries into the bottom of our serving container, whatever you're using. So it's about a quarter cup of mashed raspberries. And then I like to do the layer of the lemon chia pudding. And then to finish this recipe off, we will add on some more fresh raspberries and garnish it with some lemon zest. And that just gives it a little bit of brightness. And what I love about this one, it's really tart and tangy and it just kind of tastes like fresh and delicious. Our third one is a vanilla coconut cashew. We're gonna start with our black chia seeds. Then we're gonna add some maple syrup. We're also gonna add some vanilla extract. And then we're gonna use some full fat coconut milk. And here you can get all four of these ingredients on iHerb. Stir it together and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes until it thickens up nicely. If you do want to reduce the calorie of this, you could just use light coconut milk instead of full fat coconut milk. Once it's thickened, give it a quick stir and then you will place it into your jar. And to top, I like to do some raw cashew butter. Again, I get this on iHerb, it's the Artisana brand. I'll link it below. And finish it off with some coconut flakes. And this one is actually pretty basic, but it tastes so good. You could totally add some fresh berries or something if you wanted some fresh fruit, but it is really, really, really delicious and really full of healthy fats, so it's nice and filling. 
Our fourth one is gonna be our chai spice chia pudding. We're gonna start with black chia seeds as well as some coconut sugar. And then the spices that we're using are cinnamon, ginger, cloves, cardamom, and nutmeg. And you'll just add that directly into the bowl and you'll finish it off with your milk of choice. Again, you can get the spices, the coconut sugar, and the chia seeds all on iHerb. And once it's all stirred together, just like the other three that you've seen so far, just set it aside and let it gel. And you actually can do this overnight if you want to make it the night before. Once it has sat, you can stir it together and it should be all nice and thick. Then you'll just transfer that into your jars or your jar, whatever serving container you're using. And then to finish it off, we're gonna do some raw almond butter, but you could use any of the nut butters that you can find on iHerb. They have a huge selection. And then we're also gonna do some chopped up pecans and just to finish it off, make it look pretty, a little stick of cinnamon. And this actually, the longer it sits, it infuses more in the chia pudding. And I swear this tastes like a chai latte. It is delicious. And then our fifth recipe is going to be our dark chocolate chia pudding. We're gonna add black chia seeds into our bowl, top that with some raw cacao powder, as well as some maple syrup and our almond milk. And again, you can get all of those dry ingredients on iHerb. Give it a quick stir. This one you might want to use a whisk for just to get all of the cacao powder balls or clumps, I guess, evenly incorporated into the mixture. Once you have it evenly incorporated though, you can just again set it aside and let it all gel and come together. It should take about 10 or 15 minutes. Once it's gelled, give it a quick stir to make sure it's evenly combined, and then we'll transfer it into our jars. And for topping, I really like to do something creamy, so I did a dollop or two of coconut yogurt, and then I finished it off with something crunchy. In this case, we're gonna do chopped hazelnuts, as well as some mini chocolate chips, but just check out the iHerb grocery section and you can get a ton of different topping ideas there. And this one's great because it tastes like dessert and who doesn't love chocolate for breakfast, right? And our final recipe is going to be strawberry cheesecake. We're gonna start with some white chia seeds in this recipe and then we're gonna use some vanilla extract as well as some full fat coconut milk and some almond milk. So this is a way to make it really creamy tasting but still keep it on the lighter side. Again, white chia seeds, vanilla, and the coconut milk can all be found on iHerb. Give everything a quick stir. Once it is combined, you can let it sit and it will thicken up really nicely. And then for our serving purposes, we're gonna do a layer of the chia pudding and then we're actually gonna use this strawberry jam, which is made from 100% fruit. You can get it on iHerb. It is so delicious. I love this entire line of jam. So the strawberry one is awesome, but also like all the flavors are delicious. So check out their selection that they have. You'll do a layer of that. Then you'll do another layer of the chia pudding. And then to finish it off, you are gonna use some fresh chopped strawberries and some chopped up almonds or some sort of nut. And this one, honestly, it tastes like a bite of strawberry cheesecake. It is so, so good. You guys are gonna love it. It's probably my favorite. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed our chia pudding video. I can't wait to hear which flavor you're gonna try first. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. I also wanna thank iHerb for joining us in today's video. As mentioned in the beginning, all of the products that we use today are linked down in the description box below for you. And I also just wanna remind you, they have a huge product catalog to choose from, over 30,000 products. They ship to over 150 different countries and their customer service team is on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they service in 10 different languages. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I love making these types of recipes where you can make them a bunch of different ways. This is meal prep friendly, high fiber, vegan, delicious. You guys are going to love it. So you've got to try them. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.